From organizing a party's goals to tracking time across your campaign, here are my top 5 world building modules for Foundry VTT. As always, I have an honorable mention to make with the drag upload module. This utility module is great for every DM who likes to have a lot of visuals for the players. It's incredibly easy to just drag an image from your file browser out onto the scene as either an actor, a tile, or a journal tag. As an added bonus, tiles dragged out will be at their correct dimensions, so you don't have to guess their size using the default placement tool. This module even works on web hosting platforms like the Forge where I've run my campaigns. Drag upload is an essential workflow enhancer, and a must have for any DM when building their world. Even so, you'll still need some scenes for the players to visit. Today's sponsor, the Mad Cartographer, has you covered. Every one of their 700 and counting maps is made for Foundry VTT, with walling, lighting, and ambient sounds. Check out this month's theme, Wizard's Choice, on the Mad Cartographer's Patreon, link below. Without further ado, let's get back into the first of our top 5 world building modules. This spot goes to Pincushion, a module that enhances the placement of map pins in their visuals. With this module, you can double-click anywhere on the scene to instantly create a new journal entry for that location. In doing so, you name it, choose player permissions, and choose a folder it will reside in. From here, you can double-click your new journal pin to edit its contents. As an added bonus to this module, whatever you write in the journal can now be displayed as a preview on hovering the pin. Double right click the pin to access the edit menu, where you can now add any image to your pin for better visual variation on your maps. You can also extend these options to your players so that they can create their own map pins. Just check the option in the module settings and ensure that players have permissions to create journal entries. Overall, a great module for organizing your world on a map or keeping track of traps in a dungeon. At the fourth spot is Image Fog. A great module for making explorable maps, this tool lets you have one image as a fog layer and another image as the explored scene. I've made a video already on the topic, so check it out using the link at the top right. Combining this module with the Simple Fog module, which lets you manually reveal fog, can be a great way of revealing areas on a map that the players explore or are told about by a person marking their map with a location. It's a great way to dynamically reveal the world to your players. At number 3, we have the Mullinet suite of modules. At its core, Mullinet allows you to browse for assets from within your game, making it easier to set up the audiovisual experience for your players. With all of the modules installed, you can search a library of icons, search for images through Bing, though you need to set this up using Microsoft Azure, access some free scenes, search the BBC's massive sound effects catalog, or look through Foundry's 3600 icons via search as well. In its entirety, Moonet is an incredible addition to a DM's tool belt, letting them rapidly find the assets they need and immediately import them straight into their game. At number 2, the runner-up is Simple Calendar. This module adds an interface where you can set up the calendar for your world. You can choose pre-built calendars from a variety of settings, or build your own from the ground up. With your calendar, you can keep track of the journey for your players by advancing the days. You and your players can also add notes to the calendar, for things like holidays or important events. If you'd like, you can even fine-tune the day down to the minute using the clock feature, though that's a little bit much for me. Regardless, this module is an incredible way to immerse your players into the time they spend in your world. Now on to my favorite world-building module at number 1, Forian's Quest Log. The Quest Log is an extension of the Journal tab, where you can create quests for your players to keep track of. Through the new quest interface, you can add a quest giver, which can be an actor, item, or journal entry. Alternatively, you can add your own image to act as the quest giver. After you've given the quest a title and description, head back into it and edit it further with objectives to complete and rewards to be obtained. In the Manage Quest tab, you can let your players edit the quest themselves, add a splash image, or mark the quest as personal so that it only shows up for certain players. Through this tab, you can even add subquests the same way you created the main quest. Once you're done there, hit the play button to show it to your players, whose quest log won't show in active quests. Check out the module settings where you can fine tune how your players interact with the quest log, and even enable an MMO style quest tracker. For me this module is amazing for organizing the goals of a party. Because some goals can't be as cut and dry as clear out the goblin den for 200 gold, I'd allow my players to create their own quests, so that they can more easily keep track of their objectives. However you choose to use this module, it is undoubtedly one of the best built modules out there, with plenty of options for fine tuning your own use for it. That's why it's the number one module for world building. Don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed my content so far. 
Leave a like and comment to let me know what you thought of these modules, and if you have any ideas for modules I should look at in the future. A huge shout out to my shout tier patrons, Monnar, Matthew Russell, Demetrius, Meopenheimer, Nexus, and Smoothie Buns. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.